March 1992. Hello again, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. Thanks for joining us. And I'm John Tesh. Hollywood has a tendency toward the trendy. Trendy cars, trendy bars, trendy neighborhoods of the stars. Hollywood's latest trend, glasses that help stars make spectacles of themselves. You got the look. You got the look. The look these stars wanted was the four-eyed kind. They needed glasses for their movie roles, and they all came to the same person, Cheryl Schumann. Cheryl used to work as an optician till she spied a big opportunity in Hollywood. People used glasses for films, and instead of shopping all over town, she could bring the glasses to them. What I did is I went over to this film, uh, showed Shirley MacLaine some glasses for a movie that we were working on. She was overwhelmed. She was very happy because she had 200 frames to choose from instead of two or three. The director was very happy. The property master was happy. The costume designer was happy. And when I went home that night, I thought, gosh, this is a great idea for a business. Since then, she has fitted everyone from Thelma and Louise to Tom Cruise to Stallone and Garth. At first, it's constrictive, but after a while, it becomes a part of you. Sometimes the glasses she gives the stars become trendsetters, like those for Meg Ryan in When Harry Met Sally. They sold tens of thousands of units, which is absolutely unheard of for an eyeglass manufacturer. But that's nothing compared to the half a million pair of sunglasses that sold after fans saw them on Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 2. The filmmakers wanted to use a trendier pair on Arnold, but Cheryl said that since he takes them from a biker, they should look tough. My feeling was, who's going to believe that a redneck biker guy is going to wear a $400 pair of designer, very preppy and hip, wonderful glasses? So I felt it was very important to do a biker glass, and it ended up everyone else agreed also. Cheryl's prices sometimes raise an eyebrow. These custom-made shades for Bugsy cost $10,000. And for the upcoming sequel to the comedy Weekend at Bernie's, she's designing a $25,000 pair for Bernie, as well as hundreds of choices for stars Andrew McCarthy and Jonathan Silverman. I think about myself. I have no taste. Now watch what the doctor will do. <laughs> My biggest fan. She has also framed Sharon Gless for her role in the TV movie Honor Thy Mother. And she's outfitting the cast of Mr. Saturday Night, starring Billy Crystal. Crystal's co-star, David Famer, says glasses are important in the film because the film spans several decades and they help set the style. We're in 1950s now, and um, we've got these numbers, you know. And then we have night scenes in 1970 with, like, the aviator glasses, and then into 92, they're, they're more modern. Cheryl also makes a mint when many pairs of glasses are needed for each scene in a film, such as this one in Terminator 2, where Arnold's glasses get broken. They reshot that scene over 20 times. They drop to the floor, and he steps on them. And they're $200 a pair. So it was like step, crunch, step, crunch, step, crunch, over and over again. But I was looking, and I was going, ch -ch -ching, ch -ch -ching. <laughs> Cheryl Schumann is now focused on her latest big movie assignment, Glasses for Michelle Pfeiffer and Michael Keaton in Batman Returns. Wonder how much they'll cost. To most folks, eyeglasses are regarded as a necessary accessory. When you're making a movie, eyeglasses are considered to be part of an actor's costume. While there may be hundreds of people who consider themselves experts when it comes to managing a film's wardrobe, there's only one person to whom all eyes turn when it comes to a pair of specs. Cheryl Schumann says... Just because someone sports eyewear on the screen, it doesn't mean that any pair will do. Schumann should know. She has one of those unusual jobs you'd find, well, only in Hollywood. I mean, how many other jobs do you know where you can work with Mel Gibson, Kevin Costner, and <laughs> Madonna? She works with some of the biggest stars in Hollywood, helping create their on-screen images in just about every major motion picture. No, she's not an agent, or manager, or publicist. She's Cheryl Schumann, optician to the stars. And as Cheryl explains, it all began one day while she was working in a local L.A. optical shop. And, uh, I was in the shop one day, and a prop master had come in and, and asked if he could check out a few frames. And I was interested because I said, why would you want to check out a few frames? And they were women's frames. So he says, well, I'm doing a movie with Shirley MacLaine, and, and I need to check out a few here and a few there and a few there. Um, 
can I do that? And I said, well, let me tell you this. Why don't I come over after work or first thing in the morning before we open and bring over, you know, six, seven hundred frames because she's going to need to be fitted. And he's like, gosh, would you do that for me? And I'm thinking, would I do that for you? No, I would not go to a movie set, meet a bunch of movie stars. With six years and 2,000 film and television projects under her belt, Cheryl says she is one of the highest paid behind the scenes people in Hollywood. One contributing factor is Cheryl's work on the hit movie, Hook. Beautiful. Hook was a great film to work on. Um, uh, Robin, we matched his actual glasses, so we matched simply what he wore in real life. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Hook, I want those kids out on that in less than one minute, or you better get an attorney and hope to God he's better than me. For uh, Mr. Hoskins, um, we actually had made some glasses that were true to the period through the 1700s uh, period and, and used a lot of those out of our period collection. Pains, Kate, in love with Hook. What did you get? For actress Estelle Getty's role as Sylvester Stallone's needling mother in Stop or My Mom Will Shoot, Cheryl decided on a subtle look. One thing we wanted for her was something that wouldn't take away from her acting, so we went with something very soft. So it was very, very important that they weren't overstated. Go ahead. Make your bed. <laughs> Martin Scorsese contacted Cheryl to provide the eyeglasses for Cape Fear. For Robert De Niro's character, they wanted something cheap and awful and slimy and yucky and da 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 da. And I'm like, I don't think I have any of those. That's like the one request I don't think I've ever had. I ended up finding this just cheap, awful knockoff pair of a Carrera for three dollars <laughs> in Venice Beach, and that's what they went with. And you'll see them driving up in these just awful, cheap, gaudy just glasses. <laughs> And, but it was one of the most difficult pairs to find. One of Cheryl's most recent accomplishments is that of providing the now popular sunglasses for Annette Bening and Warren Beatty in the film Bugsy. Uh, for Annette, we actually designed something. Uh, we were looking at sketches from the past, old catalogs, old photographs, and so on and so forth. First, my name is Ben. Benjamin is in the Bible. And second, I'll see all of you at the opening of the Flamingo on Christmas Day. For Warren, we in fact uh, found a glass um, that was uh, purchased through an army surplus store, which was an actual true aviator from the period. Cheryl's personal service is evident as she has fun with actor-comedian Larry Miller, who describes his character for the upcoming film, The Favor. A very bright guy who also thinks he's pretty slick. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, well, I have a couple of ideas. So what I would suggest is um, I, I brought a number of different personality ranges so we can try on and see which you feel is more intellectual or more on the slick and evil side or more on the obnoxious side because it mm. sounds like all of these are different aspects of your character. So we can try a number of different ones and, and we'll both take a look and then we'll decide from there. Cheryl, okay. let's do it. Okay. <laughs> they started their search with what Cheryl fondly calls her assassin glasses, which she describes as Dark, evil, heavy, strong. Uh, I don't know what I look like, but I suddenly feel like singing Georgia on my mind. I don't know why. <laughs> they moved on. This is a rapper glass. This is one of our, a lot of our rappers, gang members, South Central L.A. Well, it's perfect for me, then. And on. Now, for example, with something like this, we could change oh, his personality yeah. type completely. Oh, okay. All right. This sure. This is a character. Yeah, this is good because I've been... <laughs> All right. What the heck? It is TV, right? Sure. The, I bet this looks good. Am I, am I correct? Now, this, this is fits something not that only can the... get you into character. See, now, this doesn't fit the shape of my, my face, but it's right on for the shape of my soul. And on. Too high fashion for you? Uh, wrong planet. Okay. I think right off the bat, I just, just an incorrect planet. Until they ended up with a perfect pair. These are great. All right, this is, you know what? This is, this is, I think really just close to, it's just regular guy, and then it also, because maybe, maybe if it just says regular guy, then I can, see, I don't want to have to act all this stuff. I want the glasses to say it all. <laughs> well... Unless her aerobics classmates down here were onto something. <laughs> Bingo. Dr. Schumann? Success. Thank you. Wow, I love those glasses Annette wore in Bugsy, huh? This woman is in love with glasses. You wear a different pair of glasses every day. She has yeah. like 10 pairs of glasses. Well, I wear contacts today so that I can see you, but otherwise I wear glasses. I love glasses. They're a great fashion accessory. I'm the Amel DeMarcos of glasses. Kind of frightening, isn't it? 
Well, that wraps up this edition of World Entertainment Report. On our One look at an old high school yearbook is all it takes to see how far eyewear has come. It was a time when to wear glasses was considered more of a sentence than a fashion statement. Fortunately, that was then. Today, wearing glasses is considered high fashion, and nowhere is this more evident than in Hollywood. Stars love glasses so much, they even pose for ads selling them. Glasses come in thousands of styles and can cost thousands of dollars. Many go shopping even if they don't need glasses to see. They just want to be seen. When you talk to somebody, you talk to their face, not their shirt or their shoes or their jacket. And that if you want to wear glasses, that the eyeglasses are the fashion and the clothing is the accessory. Now, regular folk can come to the store. But what about stars who relish their privacy? Not to worry, Hollywood has someone named Cheryl Schumann, a well-to-do optician who got an idea from a client named Michael Jackson. He asked me if I could start coming to his home, and I thought, wow, this is a great idea for business. There were a lot of actors out there uh, that needed a service. And so Cheryl Schumann began making house calls with a business she named Starry Eyes. I brought all different kinds of styles so you can get an idea of something more conservative, something more fashionable. Certainly the privacy is nice, but actors like David Bradley count on Cheryl professionally. This time I'm playing an owner of an apparel company, so I thought a pair of glasses would help me get into character. Cheryl Schumann offers a variety of styles that help define a character. After all, the eyes are the first thing people look at. Before Cheryl came along, costume designers would run all over town tracking down the right look. Not anymore. Now they can simply call me. I go in. I have up to, you know, 4,000 frames that they can choose from. We have a detailed description of the character, what they're looking for. We have all their prescription information, and we can do everything right then and there in the middle of a production meeting. Among her many credits, Top Gun, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future 2, Harlem Nights. For television, her glasses complement the beauty of Candace Bergen on Murphy Brown. Some of her clients are so happy with the choices she makes for their on-camera look, they keep them. Cheryl Schumann does quite well herself, thank you. Studios and actors pay a lot for the convenience of her services. Just take a recent film as a for instance. And for that one project, it was 36000 and some odd dollars. So, yeah, and when you're working on 40, 50 projects a month, it's nice. Nice for a Midwesterner who, if you told her 15 years ago that today she'd be selling eyewear to the stars, she'd say you were crazy. I grew up in a town of 300 people. So uh, you, you dream of someday maybe going to a concert and maybe seeing one of these people from thousands of yards away. But uh, I get to work with these people every single day and not only work with them, but right eye to eye. And it's, it's really great. Only in Hollywood, I'm Peter Jones. I'm Judy Houston, and we are coming to you live from Malibu, California, and we have a guest to introduce to you, but before we do, listen to this name dropping that I'm going to do. See if any of these names sound familiar to you. Tom Cruise, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dennis Quaid, Meg Ryan, Meryl Streep, oh, the list goes on and on and on. And that is just a partial list of the clients that our guest has. She is a dispenser of eyewear to the stars here in Hollywood. And her name is Cheryl Schumann. Welcome to QVC. Thank you. It's nice very to nice meet to you. have you on the show. Uh -huh. You have dispensed eyewear and eyeglasses for over 2,500 major motion pictures, mm -hmm. television shows, names like or shows like Terminator 2, mm -hmm. Postcards from the Edge, I have my little list here, Rain Man, Lethal Weapon 2, Batman Returns, Moonlighting, 
and you've been doing this now for eight years, the mm -hmm. exclusive provider of eyewear. Yes. Is it fun? It's great. Uh, well, we have some sunglasses that we're going to provide on QVC for the first time. We've never done this before. So as an optician to the stars, you will now be able to get one of her designs. And they may look very familiar to you. They are available in the black and in the tortoise shell. And they're called Starry Eyes Clubman glasses. So we'll give you the item number and the price for these glasses. And if you like the look of them, it's the hottest thing going in Hollywood today. $104 is the retail value. $65 is QVC's price. Cheryl and I were talking backstage, mm -hmm. and she said, you know, I can't believe what you can do as far as price goes, because there's another major distributor of eyewear mm -hmm. who are offering glasses similar to this style mm -hmm. for $150. Yes. <laughs> Definitely, and I've, I've even seen some of the high-class optical boutiques in Beverly Hills and whatnot have these for $195, and when I saw the price that QVC was offering, I was like, wow, maybe I should buy them for now. <laughs> what is so terrific about these glasses? Why does everybody want a pair? The great thing about these is it's a classic style. It was brought in originally back in the 1950s. It goes with a number of different face shapes. It can be worn by men and by women, young and old. Uh, the other great thing about these glasses and all of the glasses that we'll be offering in the future is they're all ophthalmic quality, mm -hmm. meaning anyone out there who wishes to can also put prescription in them if they wish, or they can wear them just strictly as sunglasses. So it's good for contact lens wearers as well as people who wear prescriptions. We have a couple of models who are standing out overlooking the and they look great. Ocean here in Malibu yeah. and they have their Clubman sunglasses on. <laughs> Meet Mark and Claudia. Wave, guys, so we know you can hear us. <laughs> they are wearing the starry eyes glasses. Claudia, who also has on our Victoria Jackson makeup, by the way, if you saw the show earlier from Malibu, still looks wonderful. And she has on the tortoiseshell style. And they are trimmed in with a gold rim and mm -hmm. a gold bridge. Mm -hmm. And Mark is wearing the black glasses, the black Clubman glasses, and those are trimmed in silver. Mm -hmm. Our retail value, $104. QVC's price is $65. Shipping and handling is $4.22. I think this gives you a good opportunity to see that they're really unisex glasses. Absolutely, yes. Um, the black and the silver goes really well with uh, cooler skin tones, navies, blacks, grays, burgundy, wine tones. And then the gold chassis with the tortoise goes really, really well with warm skin tones, brown coloring, uh, you know, beiges, that type of thing. And it can be worn, as you saw, by both men and women, and they're very hip and very now, very happy. <laughs> and I very much have to try on a pair, <laughs> just to see. Well, which ones are they going to be? Is it going to be the tortoise shell, or should it be the black? What do you think? Members cast your votes. Yes, members <laughs> cast your votes. Wish we had a 900 number you could dial in and vote for. Yeah, really, one 900 <laughs> They're great. They're a pair of glasses that are real fun. They're kind of funky. You can wear them with your jeans. I can just see you with your top down on your convertible. Sort of takes you back to the 1950s. That is the style mm -hmm. that these are from, are they not? Yes, actually, this was resurrected from 1952 tooling. Uh, the other thing I'm very proud to say is we had these made here in the USA, which I'm. Uh, the quality and the craftsmanship is superb. Uh, these will last for years. Uh, they're just very well made. They are. They're very durable. In fact, I even have the, um, the make there of a cellulose acetate, if this means anything to you, and also metal. They have the ni nickel, silver in them. They're very durable, and they have outstanding quality. And what's very important for you is that they do block out 100% of the UVA and the UVB rays. Exactly. So they're good for your eyes as well as being really a fashion statement. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I wanted to elaborate on as far as the technical terms, because I know a lot of people don't uh, know what cellulose acetate is, mm -hmm. but from an optician standpoint, what that means is it's a very high-quality optical plastic. Uh, so what happens is, uh, once you have them, they won't be slipping down your nose, they won't fall out of shape because it's just a really good quality optical xyle, and that's what cellulose acetate is. Um, the other thing, too, uh, I think that's very good is uh, by mentioning the UVA and the UVB rays that this screens out for, one of the main reasons for including this coating is because it really helps to be much more healthful for the eye. Uh, UVA and UVB light has been linked to causing cataracts and wrinkles and so on and so forth. So this basically acts as a very good sunscreen mm -hmm. for the eyes, along with being very fashionable as far as the color. 
vegetables right, I think I gotta go with the tortoise. I like shell. the warm tone. Yeah, the <laughs> tortoise is you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> They're very comfortable too. They're not really, really heavy, so you're not going to find that you have this red mark on your the bridge of your nose after you've worn exactly. them. Exactly. Also, the bridge area or the the area in where it comes. What do you call that? The, the nose the little, pads. The, the, the little nose pads mm -hmm. are adjustable. Absolutely. And they have this little optical screw in here, so if you wanted to change the lens and put prescription lenses mm -hmm. in there, you could do that very mm -hmm. easily. And you just do that with um, a teeny tiny little screwdriver or take it Absolutely. to an eyeglass. Uh, any local it. optician or optometrist of your choice would be more than happy to uh, change the lenses in, in these for you if you wish. Another thing that we've done if people at home or your local optician, we've even put mirrored lenses in these where you could do gold mirrors, silver mirrors, gray mirrors, r rainbow mirrors, any kind of thing. You can get very, very creative with them and do anything you want. An optician to the stars. Now I just named a few names. Mm -hmm. Who have you worked with, Cheryl? Oh gosh. <laughs> well, <laughs> most recently maybe. Oh, well, um, we're working on a film right now with Dennis Quaid and Kathleen Turner. Which and is you go to the set and mm -hmm. the director calls, I mean, you're the exclusive provider of yes. eyewear for over 2,500.